Oh, Andrew Pearce from He's the Daily it. Mail <laughs> is here alongside Kevin McGuire from the Daily Mail. Very Mirror. rarely catch her. Right? Uh, <laughs> Fifteen years of training I was means the Queen of Poise is normally always in control. control. He was gossiping. He was just telling me something interesting. I was yeah, leaning over. Can you. you share it with the group then? It wasn't about you. No, he has you. nothing interesting to say. You should know that by <laughs> now. Well, actually, uh, I don't me. actually agree because you've written an absolute top thumbing piece today <laughs> yeah. about this outgoing ambassador. Yeah, yeah bye bye, good riddance. Right, you're not a fan. And why? Listen, this was the guy who led the negotiations for David Cameron, which were the basis of how David Cameron was going to appeal to the British people to stay in the EU, the, the, re, the tough New Deal. It was pitiful and risible, and even Cameron's closest supporters admit it, and it was rejected overwhelmingly in the referendum. In fact, it was such a poor deal that Sir Ivan Rogers came up with, Cameron never even mentioned it in the referendum campaign. He doesn't want us to stay in the EU. He, he wants us to stay in the EU. He's a committed... Uh, Europhile is part of the EU establishment. Theresa May needs someone there and who believes course, in Brexit. Well, he said, of course, Kevin, famously, it, it might take 10 years yeah. to Brexit. That many believe in Westminster was his death knell, really, because how can you have the guy supposed to be leading all this yeah. negotiation saying it might take a decade to do it? Yeah, it's dreadful you get honesty. Because it's not going to be as easy. But is that as honesty it's... or is that just real peasant? No, it's honesty. Yeah. If you're going to get divorced, you want your best lawyers. He was the best lawyer. No, he, he knew. He knew his way around Brussels. He knew it like the back would of his you, hand. Would you? Would like, you? Let me take you up on that yeah. very point. If you were getting divorced, right, mm. and you wanted the best lawyer, would you choose somebody that absolutely loves your wife? No, but you want someone well, who knows. No, 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 no. Point. It's Good not. Point. But you want someone who knows. But that's knows. the analogy. No, no, yeah, yeah, it is. No, no, it's and not. And doesn't want you to break up. No, yeah, it's that's not. Right. And it's said repeatedly in public. I don't need this to be here. This divorce could yeah, take I don't need 10 to be years. Here. This is great. It's still not the analogy. The yes, analogy it is. is you, you want dug a grave no, no. yourself here, Maguire. The, no, no, not no. for the first time. The analogy is you want somebody who knows your life, your assets, what you've got together, your bank account, who what you've got in the house, whether you've got money hidden away, so that person can divide it up or get it all for you. That thing is the analogy. The last thing you it want is not the last your, thing you want is somebody wife. who knows where you've hidden all the cash. Here's the no, 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 Andrew. Here's the point. No, 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 no. Here's the point. Because you've got to get because, it back. Because, David, David, because the British people rejected uh, staying in the Euro European Union, the Prime Minister, David Cameron, very graciously and in a very dignified way decided to exit the field and Sir Ivan Rogers should have gone at the same time because it was his negotiation package which cost Cameron his job because the British people didn't buy it. So he's not the best lawyer. If he wasn't the best lawyer to keep us in, he's certainly not the best Look, lawyer to keep us you can get, out. You can get a load of two-bit lawyers who don't know the game, completely new to it, and you will get absolutely... Well, yeah, taken to the cleaners. Nelly used another phrase. Kevin, you will get taken Andrew, to the cleaners. But, but Andrew's point about the fact that this guy had already been in charge of negotiations mm. which were supposed to prevent the yeah. referendum, yeah. but were, were per supposed to be persuasive enough that we would have a great yeah. deal, which would mean that everybody would think staying in the EU was fantastic, which completely failed, means that he is a proven failure. No, he, he, sh he right. shouldn't carry the can yes, for David should. Cameron's failure. David Cameron tactically wanted a referendum to solve a problem in his own party. He was told in advance... Well, you mean David Cameron deliberately sabotaged no, no. his own negotiations well, he sabotaged in order to hold a referendum? He sabotaged his own premiership because he was told, by, even by the Chancellor George Osborne, don't risk that. You cannot get the changes you wanted. The choice had to be between the European Union, warts and all, or coming out, okay, which, which will be you. a disaster. Let me put this to you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. So, in America, it's got an interesting parallel going on, different thing... But an interesting parallel. You've got an intransigent Washington where no business has been done of any significance for years now. They all hate each other, and it's very similar to the European Union. Yeah. It's like the Commission. It's like it's just fractured, broken, it doesn't do anything. So Donald Trump's coming, a non politician, and he's filling his cabinet with all these absolute ball breaking, deal busting business billionaires, right? Is there, look, bear with me for a moment. Yeah. Is there not an argument that the kind of people we should be employing right now? to do the negotiating for our country, for our cessation from the European Union, should be the very same type yeah, of people, like right? real ball-breaking business guys who know how to cut a great deal. Yeah. Do we want to have ambassadors and diplomats? Trump told me diplomats are the last people you want. They're nice people. Yeah. They're used to cozying up. You actually want killers who get in there and kill a deal. You do that, Piers, and most of them will be telling you to stay in. That's what they were saying. Yeah. All the big, all wow. the big, all the big industrialists, all the big banks, all the people yeah. who made things. Say, they were all right. But if you say, right, but if you say, in. but rather like with a lawyer, right, who will argue black is white yeah. or white is black if the money's right. Mm. If you say to them, we are definitely coming out 
do the best possible mm. deal. That's a different conversation. Andrew. Yeah, but also, but also, you uh, you mentioned uh, Trump. Very important. The ambassador there for Britain, Sir Kim Darroch, mm. just like we had Sir Ivan Rogers in the EU, couldn't be bothered to make overtures to the Trump camp because he thought ghastly common, vulgar man hasn't got a chance of winning the presidency. Whoops, he won the presidency. So we're out in the cold there. Yeah. Nigel Farage has got in, and we haven't. <laughs> and, and here's the same analogy. Sir Ivan Rogers is exactly the same look, sort of mold.